I am in love, and you will be too in about a minute or so. This is a genuine Henry Ford 1934 all steel uh, Ford coupe, five window coupe, not chopped, not cut, original style louvered hood, uh, suicide doors, rumble seat. It's a magazine car, leather interior, everything. The headliner, all glove soft leather, ramjet fuel injected motor, five speed transmission, air condition. This thing's amazing. The color. Oh, I love this car. It's nothing but great things to tell you about it. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read the information. Look at about 100 pictures top to bottom. And that's where you'll find a price tag on this car and every car we have for sale, along with a monthly finance option. They only ask for 10% down, and they'll go 12 years on most cars. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified when the next video is posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, this is a beautiful car. Everybody that goes by mentions the color. I bet I've heard it three, four times today just in, in passing through our showroom. Uh, stunning. But anyway, the underneath. It was done by a professional shop. All the specs are on our website. It was featured in a five or six page magazine spread and it was the cover car and that gives all the story. It was built at a professional shop and it was done in 06. But when professionals do it right, they last. This looks like it was done yesterday. Body was off the frame, of course. It's the original 1934 frame that's been all boxed and smoothed and then they painted it. It has TCI suspension. Up front is independent with all chrome tubular control arms, the spindles, uh, it has a sway bar, uh, it has coil over adjustable gas shocks, has rack and pinion steering, and back it's a TCI four link setup, tubular control arms and pan hard bar, uh, also adjustable coil over shocks as well. Uh, it has a great sounding exhaust with stainless steel MagnaFlow mufflers and some big flared tips coming out the back, uh, polished stainless steel tips, uh, polished gas tank, of course all the lines, fuel pump, all that's new. Uh, brake systems, all uh, custom redone brakes or new brakes, uh, discs at all four wheels, uh, power brakes, the pumps underneath there. Uh, E-brake assembly, all, all of that is new and custom. They're new when they built it. Um, you look up at the motor, it's nice clean motor, high torque starter. They bought a new Tremec transmission to put in there, not a used one. Uh, the drive shaft still has a sticker on it. Uh, it's a Ford eight inch rear end with a nice highway friendly gear. The bottom of the car is all clean and painted. So every component under the car is new. They use the original frame, which was reworked. Everything else is replaced. And it's all done very neatly, very tidy, proper. Car runs and drives great. So the body, like I said, it's all steel. The fenders, the body, it's all original steel. Uh, they did minimal uh, rust or repair work, and they just blocked it and blocked it and made it straight. I don't remember if these had an uh, insert in the middle or not. A lot of times back then, the old cars had like a vinyl insert, but this is all metal, absolutely straight, not chopped. That's a standard height. Does have a brake light flush mounted in right here. This is a rumble seat, which we'll get to in a little bit. The gaps are precise, perfectly square and flush. Does have a recessed uh, license plate, this panel, this might be, no, that's, I think that's metal too. Wow. Full fender, it's the classic look. Full fenders, running boards, door handles, the big headlights, even the Greyhound. But anyway, body is pristine. Laser beam straight, no rust, no damage, no funny body work starting to show. It is absolutely amazing body. All metal, the louvered hood will open up in a little bit. So the body is a 10. I don't see anything wrong with it. Suicide doors, and they open and close like a new car. It's amazing. Indigo blue, I think it's a PPG color. Indigo blue with a clear coat. It is stunning. It is absolutely gorgeous. 
the metal flake is laid out completely uniform. It's all one color. It's polished like glass. There's a little pimple right here, and there's a chip on top of the hood on the other side, about the size of a dime that was touched up. Other than that, I did not see any flaws. I'm sure there's something else really super minor, but the paint is amazing. All uh, replaced glass, it's smoked glass. It's not the peel on tint, it's smoked glass. The original style uh, tail lights with blue dots. It's a full bumper car. They look like they're probably stainless steel bumpers and brackets. Could use a rubber seal around the gas cap. That's uh, kind of dry rotted. You got a billet cap. It does have safety locks for the suicide doors in case they flew open while you're driving. Once you're in there, there's a pin that you know, locks it so they won't open. That shuts like a new car. Looks like aluminum mirrors, the original style handle. You got chrome handles for the hood, big full size. Ford script headlights and Ford uh, script lenses. Got the horns. I love the original chrome grille. Like I said, the Greyhound. Stainless bumpers in front match the back. So it is the classic. Again, full bodied, full fendered. Running boards you can stand on. You got the ribbed rubber covers, just like in 1934, as opposed to a fiberglass car where the where they're painted and you can't step on them and you got remotes for the doors and you got little headlights, you have a painted grill. This has all the goodies. The stance is amazing. 15 inch real chrome wire wheels with V8 center caps. VF Goodrich tires, much fatter in back. Perfect size, it fits that wheel well perfectly. Now we're gonna open it up and uh, it just keeps getting better and better. All right, so we got a mother-in-law seat here, the original style handle. Lifts open easily, smoothly. Now this is all glove soft leather. I can just sit here and do this. No, I'm not a weirdo, but it's just so soft. Nice leather and everything you see is leather throughout the entire interior. There's speakers uh, behind the perforated leather. There's a battery box wrapped in leather and has Porsche cashmere carpet, and it even has a 1934 stitched uh, floor mat on top of the carpet that goes right into the uh, interior space there. Yeah, they did a nice job. Door jams are slick, has stainless hardware. I'm six foot, I fit in this car with no troubles. Uh, let's look at the dash. You got, it's an original steel 34 dash. has these nice polished billet inserts with a matched set of VDO gauges. There's about 8,300 miles on the car. Uh, nice vintage air controls. They light up white. Uh, very small glove box. It does match the other one. Uh, an auto sound stereo. Nice billet vents. Got the ignition in the middle. Very classy Ford steering wheel on a polished tilt column. Now the seats, again, everything is wrapped in leather. Soft, smooth, they're reclining. Behind the seat, this is all upholstered in leather. Even the headliner. This is always vinyl. I don't care, I think Rolls Royces even use vinyl. This is all leather upholstery, uh, custom door panels. Uh, nice low car pedals and e-brake and we got a five speed shifter that's also cool you usually find automatics in these and then uh, i don't know if you caught the door panel that's all all stitched uh, you know soft leather with a little map bag or a little pouch there power windows very very nice inside and it's all professionally done it's not got loose parts falling off or this is a car I wouldn't do anything to it. So the motor, they bought it right from GM. It's a Ramjet 350. It has this fuel injection system on top. And then uh, it was street and performance, took the engine and they modified it a little bit, took it all apart. And then they've added all the billet and chrome. This is all nice, shiny, polished parts everywhere. 
Little front of the engine, polished alternator and brackets and pulleys with a serpentine belt. It's got a modern 605 power steering. We got headers. There's a, a reservoir for the power steering. Uh, aluminum radiator with an electric uh, puller fan. And then up front, it has two pusher fans, so it's three fans total on the aluminum radiator. Got a chrome AC compressor, electronic ignition. Everything's just done neat and tidy, all painted real nice. You got nice uh, hardware for the hood. You don't have to go inside and push a lever. It's the original style louvered hood. Nice, nice work. It just looks right, feels right. There's always something I'd want to change. I literally can't think of a single thing I would do different on this car. Sitting inside here, impressive. Rides so nice. I drove this car a little bit. You can just put two fingers on the shifter and go through all the gears. It finds reverse very easily. Again, I'm amazed that a 34 Ford shuts like that. Uh, the, the workmanship in this car is amazing. That art, uh, magazine article I told you about, we did copy it. That is on our website. You can see it there. They did change the wheels on it since then, but same car. So there you go. This is an amazing car. Go to volocars.com. I'm a dummy for letting this one go. I should put it in my garage. But go to volocars.com. Talk to the salesman. They'll help put it in your garage. They'll help with delivery. They'll help with financing. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon so you're notified when we post the next one. Thanks for watching.